Welcome to the Family Accounting Webinar. In this segment, we'll be going through the actual ledger, how to post charges, credits, and payments manually, and a brief tour of the accounting segment of ProCare. So if you want to open up a ledger, you can click on the word account, and you could go down to ledger. You could hit the F8 button if your keyboard is working for mapping. You could also instead click on the ledger icon, which is to the left of that money bag. Or for the purpose of this webinar, I'm going to simply double click on the dollar amount that is currently owed. So here's a family ledger, the Adams ledger. And let's just take a quick tour of the different areas here. The up and down arrows are to go down to the next family. So you don't have to click on exit. If you were doing something with a large group of families, you could post and just click down. You don't have to keep saying exit, exit, exit. The next thing I wanted to go through is the color scheme. So here's all my different families. And I just want to go to one that has everything that I wanted there. And let's go to Walton's. So one important thing is Aaron is not the owner of the account or the amount due. John Walton is the primary payer for this. Olivia is the secondary payer. And all of these children have a common ledger. They all post to the ledger for the Walton family. I'm going to double click on the zeros. And here we see all the different colors that we typically use, three of them. Blues are charges, things that usually make balances go up. Yellows are payments or credits, things that usually make balances go down. And pinks are voids, things that have been disregarded and you don't want them to have any impact, but they were recorded, so you need to void them if you want to just completely negate the fact that it ever happened. Looking at the math behind this, this, I just grabbed the scroll bar and I went to the top. This ledger started out at zero. The very first charge was tuition school age for $45. The balance due is 45. Another charge is made for $95. The balance is 140. Another charge and the balance goes up and up. Finally, we apply a discount, which is a credit, $9. It lowers the balance by $9. And then we do a payment of $391 leaving us with $0 at this point in time on this line. The current balance on this one is $0 as of this date. In terms of the buttons on here, there's the blue arrows, which we talked about, to march up and down. Hide voids. So if you don't want to see a void, you could click on hide void. It has no impact on the totals because a void is saying that that charge or credit or payment never happened. So it doesn't matter whether you've got it on or off. Your families will never see a void in any statement, so you don't need to hide them unless you don't want to look at them. The next button over is really handy for when you have a lot of different charges. Let's say this family goes back quite a ways. And let's say I wanted to know, did I ever charge this family something called a registration fee? I can click on the group button and I can look around here for registration fees and I'll see I have never charged that family that line item. If I wanted to see the details of any one thing, let's say I want to see all the times I've charged them tuition infant, I can click on that plus and there's the tuition infant charge isolated. When you're done with this, you might want to remember to click ungroup so that you can get the totals back again. The next item over is the, well, it's voids, and if you click here, you could void a line item. So for instance, if I wanted to void something, I would click on the line I wanted to get rid of. Let's say it's tuition infant. It was for 145. I click on void, and I would just void it. I might want to make a comment, test posting or something like that, and void it. And as soon as I voided it, you'll notice that now all of a sudden, because I voided a charge, this family now has a negative. It means it's a credit balance. It means we, the center, owe that family. And I can post an exit, and there's the negative 145. That's an unusual case where you owe them. The next thing I wanted to show you before we go into billing boxes is the setup for a divorced family. So you'll notice these children have traditional here mom and dad, two payers. In a divorce family, what you have is a case of the Bundys here. Bud and Kelly 
are on, and Peg is responsible for their ledger, and I have Al Bundy also as a different account, and the same two children. These are the same person records. The thing is, this is what Peg owes, and this balance is what Al owes. And when we talk about billing boxes, that will become relevant also because you can distribute the charge lines. Let's go back to our ledger. The next item over is audit. And what audit is, is if anybody had changed a line item on you. For instance, right now I have nothing in audit. Uh, let's say I had done this posting earlier and somebody else came in and opened up my charge line for this charge and changed it to something and posted and exited. And I come back and I just wonder, gee, what was that balance always the same? I can go over and open up that ledger and click on the audit button and it'll tell me any changes that were made since the original posting. So here all I know is it's 555, I'm seeing that. If I click on the plus to the left, I can see the original charge was for 45 and I can see the date, time and who the person was that made the change. And you can do reports on this and you can do reports across ledgers also. The next item over is deposits. These are for special charges and credits and we talk about them. There's an article if you're interested for deferred revenue or deposits on account. And what they are for is if you are taking money, let's say now, and you're not gonna apply that payment until four months from now, you might want to park it in a special charge for that deposit account. If you're interested in this, just simply go to ProCareSupport.com and look up special charges and credits, and there's a description for it. The next item over is a typical ledger. So here, if I click on this, I've got my statement for this family. Let's say I want it for this month. I click OK. This is as a onesie twosie thing for just the one family that I'm on. There's a different place we'll go to at the end for reports across families. And this is a typical customer statement. I've got a logo that I brought in. You can bring in logo. You just go to ProCare Support. Again, type in the word logo. You'll see how to do that if you wanted to. This is the information that comes off of the school that I'm in. This is the customer information. This is the fact that the statement is from 10 to 1031. They started out at zero, and this is every charge credit that we had during the period and what the running balance is. They currently owe $510 as of 1031. The last item here is if you had an amount due, and let's say this is an amount due, and you had Tuition Express, you could click on the Tuition Express button and you could either key in the credit card or swipe the card and do a one-time collection and process it. For more information on this, contact Tuition Express through ProCareSoftware.com. To manually post, let's go post a couple of items on a family. I'm gonna double click on their dollar, open up the ledger. If I wanted to post a charge, I could click the down arrow over here by the description. I could select my particular charge, in this case, Tuition Wobblers. I have a standard amount, we'll talk about this in configuration, of $125 that the family is going to get charged. I can hit tab and you'll see the balance is now $125. And if I post an exit, that's all that happens. Maybe I want to do the charge and a payment. Again, I could click the down arrow or I can hit the first character of the description I want. I'm going to hit P. Here's all my P descriptions and one of them is payment by check. When you select the payment type, ProCare will default to the full amount due. If they're not paying the amount due, you can simply override it. And then we'll just post and exit. And there is the balance of this family. I could double click on here again. And here are the two things we just did. We charged 125 and we collected 100. Exit. In our next segment, we'll talk about how to do contract billing.